I find that most of the time it's not a question of, am I doing the right things? It's a question of, am I doing the right volume? See, most of the business owners that I work with end up knowing exactly what they should be doing. They're just not putting in anywhere near enough reps to get the results that they're looking for. And that's why today, when I talk about the four marketing strategies I'm going to cover, I'm going to dial in on the numbers you should be thinking about in order to get the results that you're hoping for. If you don't know who I am, my name is Devin Tracy. I run a company called Windfall Elite. We have a brand called Settle Your Side Hustle, where we help business owners scale their companies To date, we've worked with 1,066 customers and we have some pretty remarkable results. So I am giving that all to you for free on this podcast. What is up, side hustlers, entrepreneurs, business builders, and dream makers? Welcome to the Sell Your Side Hustle Podcast, episode 91. Happy Monday. It's great to be back in your butts once again as we strive to be every day of the work week. Uh, Today, I want to talk to you about the marketing approaches that you can take if you are offering a digital service. So this came to me because in a Facebook group, I was asked uh, how I would find leads for a website service company. And I realized that the answer that I gave is actually the answer I would give to any digital service company. If you're doing web design, if you're doing graphic design, if you're doing lead gen, if you're a if you're a marketing agency, if you're doing anything digital at all that's fundamentally a service, then this is what I would do for you. And I can say this because Windfall Elite is a digital marketing agency. So we've actually focused in on doing just these tactics that I'm teaching. I don't I don't recommend anything that I haven't done myself. I don't recommend anything that I haven't found success with. And having coached a lot of business owners at this point, I can tell you that these strategies work if you're willing to work them. So with that being said, let's get into it. Marketing strategy number one, option number one for you is one that is so commonly overlooked over and over again, people just skip on it. And I can tell you that everybody who takes my advice on this ends up making money. Literally 100% success rate of everybody who I give this advice and takes action on it actually sees fruit from it. So it's really simple, but you're going to have to get out from behind your computer. Go to local networking events and expos. So local networking event is like a business networking event. For example, I run the digital networking event to Hustle Network Hub. Uh, That's a virtual networking group that you can go to, or you can go find a local one in your area, BNI, these types of things, and connect with other business owners. When you're at local networking events, your fundamental goal should be to find power partners, find people who serve the same audience as you so that you can make referrals to each other. And you're going to realize that this is a... This isn't something that's going to make you money right away, but if you start building these power partners relationships in the next six months, you're going to start seeing this flow of referrals going back and forth. It's going to end up being a very valuable lead source for you. If you go to multiple multiple networking events, you build up multiple uh, power partners. This can be your entire marketing strategy and it'll be very effective for you. The other side of that is expos. When you find a target market, you figure out exactly who your target market is, what you're going to find is that your target market has expos that's meant for them, events that are meant for them, um, conferences that are meant for them, and you can find them locally. They're going to be in the biggest city in your state or in your region. So, for example, I live in Colorado. When I look up uh, expos, they're always in Denver. When Denver is an hour drive south from me, okay, so go to those expos. When you're at those expos, I don't actually recommend buying a booth. I don't think you need it. Uh, What you need to do is walk around and actually talk to people. And if you actually start making conversations with people, uh, what you're going to find is that you're going to talk to, during the expo, you're going to talk to two or 300 people. You're going to make connections. You're going to have interaction. You're going to have conversations. And from those two or 300 people that you have conversations with, you're going to exchange contact information with 50 or 60 of them. From those 50 or 60, 20 of them are going to ask you to get some food with them or get coffee with them right then and there. And you're going to do that. But all 50, 60, you're going to follow up with the next week. And you're going to just say, hey, I had a great conversation with you. I wanted to talk more to you about, about your business and how maybe we can help you. And then From that 50 to 60, every single time you go to an expo, you should be landing three to five clients. That's just what should happen. Expos are just simply the fastest path to cash that I know of because you can go to a single expo and the next week you can have three or five new clients. And that's the numbers you should be expecting. And all the numbers that I just mentioned are targets. Your your first expo, you're probably not going to get that many because you're going to be a little gun shy. You're going to have the social anxieties and it's going to be a little intimidating going up and talking to people. So maybe during the entire two or three day expo, you only talk to 50 people. Well, then if you only talk to 50 people, you should be hoping for maybe 20 contact and for- 20 contacts so you can follow up, right? 20 leads in a sense. And maybe half of those or maybe five of those ask you to get food or coffee with them at the expo, which means you were probably able to get food and coffee with all of them. 
who asked. And then maybe you can only get one client out of that, but you're still going to get a client out of that, right? So no matter where you're at, just level up and realize the numbers I'm hitting and referencing our targets, those are the goals you should be trying to hit at an expo. Try to make 100 contacts a day is basically the rule of thumb. Uh, all right, that's option number one. Let's go into option number two. Option number two is another one that people overlook all the time, but for a very different reason. With option number one, people are intimidated to do it or they think it's a waste of time or they they just don't want to. And so it's getting over themselves to make themselves do it. With option number two, a lot of people either have huge anxiety around it and therefore can't do it or stick their nose up against it and are not willing to do it and think that it's beneath them. But every single person who does it finds success. Where option number one is fastest path to cash that I know of, option number two is the most consistent path to cash that I know of. And that is simply doing outbound work, doing outbound prospecting. So uh, whether this means that you scrape a list of businesses so that you can do cold email, or whether this means that you are doing cold DMs, or whether you're cold calling or door knocking, uh, cold outbound works. So it's irresponsible to not be doing it. Uh, so here's the here's the outbound strategy that I would recommend for you. Ready? Step number one, scrape a list of businesses, okay? of target market, whoever they are, right? Uh, step number two, come up with a free offer for them. Something you can give them 100% for free that's truly of value to them. It can literally be your service, depending on the nature of your service. Give them one month for free, something like that, right? Uh, because frankly... This is what we call a lead magnet in marketing and lead magnets are most valuable and most valuable when you're doing outbound marketing. Because think about it, when when you get calls from cold callers, um, you never appreciate them, right? And you're always mad at them. But when you get a call from a cold caller who is actually calling from your local gym and they're just saying, hey, I noticed you haven't taken advantage of your free trial, you may or may not take advantage of that. But you're nowhere near as upset with them as you are with every other cold caller. Why? Because they just offered you something of value for free. That's all they did. They said, hey, I have this thing that I know would be valuable to you and I want you to have it. That's all they did. So if you come up with a really good free offer, it's obviously in line with what your actual service is. Then you email you them, you call them, you DM them, you follow up with them, and you give them your free offer. Once they take your free offer, then you follow up with them about providing your service on a continual basis. That's all outbound is. That's all it needs to be. And if you do that, you'll win. So numbers. Alex Ramosi recommends doing 100 a day for 100 days. I think that's a great standard and that's the standard I'm going to recommend for you. Whether it's cold calls, whether it's DMs, whether it's door knocking, I'd say 100 a day. The only exception I would give would be to email. To email, you can scale it up pretty easily. You can use systems like Woodpecker and you can start by sending 25 emails a day. You want to start a little slow so you don't get in trouble. But start with 25 emails a day and you can easily scale that up to doing a couple hundred emails a day with really no no negative. So with email, I'd go a little bit higher. With everything else, targets 100 a day. Once you get that target on repeat, like clockwork and it's easy, then you can start upping it if you need to, but you probably won't need to. Option number three, social media organic. I've been working this strategy for the last 10 months on my Facebook account. And so in those 10 months, I went from less than a thousand friends to over 5,000 followers. And the way that I've done it is pretty simple. I, uh, I joined the right groups. I start posting crazy value content in in my space. So I, I post stuff that's similar to this content, just high, high value content. Uh, actually, this entire this entire episode is based off of a post that I made. And I post that on my feed and in those groups with no call to actions whatsoever. I'm just dropping value. When people interact and engage, I send them friend requests. And as I start building up friends and I'm putting constant value out, more and more people start sharing my work. And through shared works, I start building a following. And then from there, you can do something like I did last week where you can make a organic two-step post, which is offering your free thing of incredible value so that you're still not having call to actions, right? You're not saying, hey, give me money. Free thing of incredible value. If you want it, let me know. I did one of those last week and I had over 100 people say, yes, I want this free thing. So now from those 100 people, I'm DMing them to give them the free thing. How many of those 100 leads who just said, yes, I am your target market and yes, I want exactly what you offer. How many of those 100 leads do you think I could convert to being paying clients? Two, three, five, 10? Let's say it's two. How much of a win is that to have a single Facebook post give me two new clients? And that's what I would do for organic. Recognize it takes time to build up, but you're going to be doing it by three posts a day if it's something like Facebook. You're going to be doing it like 10 posts a day if it's Twitter. You're going to be doing it at least one video a day if it's YouTube. You're going to be doing it. And every platform is a little different. 
more content, higher value, always better, period. That's the third strategy. On to our last one. Option number four, paid traffic. This is my sweet spot. This is my money. This is what Woodfall Elite does. So Google ads, Facebook ads, right? Um, my simple strategy for you would be to run your ads to a landing page that captures lead information. You can do that by simply saying, re- giving them a li- lander that says request info here, or you can give them your free offer that we've been talking about for all the other strategies. Either way it works. Capture the lead information. Have the thank you page tell them to schedule a call to talk about your services. Call every single lead within five minutes to schedule that call because most of them aren't going to anyway. And that's what you're calling them to do. You call them to schedule the call. You say, hey, I noticed you didn't take advantage of your free discovery call, so I just wanted to get that in the calendar. That's what you do. Okay. Every single lead that schedules a call, that every single lead you schedule a call with them, and then on that call you sell your services. It's that simple. Um, this is a funnel for this is literally what I gave away that blew up, up last week. So if you want that funnel, um, you know what? Let me know. I don't even know. Let me know in the comments and I'll I'll hook you up with that funnel as well. So those are the four strategies. I'm going to end this one with a shameless plug for you guys really quick. And I know I just told you, you always give away value. Never ask for anything. I generally believe that the less you ask, the more valuable, the more value you give, the more money you're going to make. That being said, it's October 9th right now, which means that our applications are open for our coaching clients. So if you want to learn more about that, let me give you a quick overview of the kind of results that our clients get so you can think about whether or not you want to apply. Okay. So we help entrepreneurs launch, grow their online companies in as little as 30 days, even if they don't have an idea yet. This year, here's what the data breaks down to. In the first month of working with us, our clients this year, 50% of them have hit their stated goal within 30 days. 75% of them have landed at least one client within 30 days. 67% of them have increased their revenue by $2,000 a month or more the first 30 days of working with us, 25% of them have increased their revenue by at least $5,000 a month or more within the first 30 days of working with us. And the average revenue increase in the first 30 days of working with us is over $3,000. It's $3,083 a month average revenue increase of our coaching clients that we've taken on this year in the first 30 days is over three grand. So uh, we only take on four coaching clients a month. And Our applications are open on October 10th. They'll be open for a week. So right now at time of posting, you can actually apply. The application is in the description. The link to the application is in the description. If you'd like to apply for a chance, by the way, we reject most applications. Most applications get a rejection letter from us and we reject on seven criteria, not just finances. So applying doesn't mean that you are committing to doing this. It means that you are committing to learning about the opportunity and you might not even get to have an interview with us. But if you apply, and you're approved, the approval says you'll be approved for an interview, then you'll have an interview with me. And on that interview, if we seem like a good fit, then I will make the offer to you and you can choose whether to accept or reject it. That's our process. If you'd like to apply to get these kind of results, look, these are the average results. These are the statistical results. If you want to be part of this, go ahead and click the link in the description to apply. That's all I got for you guys today. Love you so much. I'll be back in your buds once again tomorrow. God bless.